Welcome to this lab. In this lab, we're going to create mtext. So <coughs> let's get started. Let us build on top of the previous uh, project or solution that we have created called draw objects. So now let's start with the mtext method. Public void draw mtext. And of course, the command method. Draw and text. So, as usual, we have to get the document object. Doc equals from application document manager MDI active document I would suggest when you are watching this video once you're done you do the coding yourself don't just uh, copy and paste because it gives you more experienced and also kind of a mental uh, awareness or control and you get more familiar with with the objects that that you are creating database uh, doc the database and then the editor ed equals then we do the using statement transaction trans equals db the transaction manager that start the transaction now we do the try type the try and press the tab twice so you get the the try catch uh, structure okay now let's just display to the user let's make this a uh, edt edt the right message drawing m text exercise then we create the block table then get an instance of it using the transaction get object uh, from database that block table ID open mode for read as block table then get the block table record initialize it to BTR variable next BTR equals trans that get object it will be our block table and get the block table record that model space for the string key and this will be open for write since we are adding a new antex document as block table record all right now specify the m text uh, parameters or attributes like the text string and the insertion point so let's create a variable a text string variable txt and let's just type hello autocad from C sharp now we have the text string next we need to get the we, we need to create a insertion point point 3d uh, insertion point new point 3d let's say we create that in a 200 200 
Now I would like to introduce to you one more way of creating an object by using the also the using structure. This is also a good way to create an object. New and text. Now uh, we have declared our in text object. We can now specify the contents. What is the, the contents or the text txt? We have it here. And now we specify the location. It is our insertion point that we created here. Next, we are going to add into the block table record by using the append entity mtx then uh, trans the add newly created db object mtx and add it is true now we can commit the transaction so in our catch block we have to create a system exception object make it an ex then just do the same thing write message edit it write message error encountered plus the error message and then abort the transaction Okay, so that's about it for the M text. We missed something here. There should be no closing parentheses there. So let's just examine the code. Did we miss something? We have the document, we have the database, we have the editor. Yeah, the code looks good. So let's save it. And we can try rebuilding it, but I guess we'll be getting an error since we just loaded into AutoCAD our previous plugin. But anyways, let's give it a try. Yep, we're getting error. This is expected. Okay, so in order to fix that, we just have to close our AutoCAD and rebuild the solution. Succeeded. Now let's open AutoCAD. Okay, so now we can load our plugin. Netload. This is the same uh, project that we've been working on, so it's in this folder. Just load that one. Select always. We should now have two commands in our plugin. So let's try our draw and text. Okay, so this is our message. Where is our end text? There you go. All right, that's it. Let's try the first plugin that we've created. Draw line. Yeah, this is a zero to one hundred, and then this is the two hundred. X is two hundred. Y is two hundred. There you go. Those are our two plugins. So in the next video, we're going to create a circle. I'll see you there.